So when someone asks you, where's your family from? You might hear an answer like Ireland, Great Britain, Japan, or Venezuela. However, for most African Americans, we only know the massive continent of Africa as our origin. Being able to identify an exact home country was lost during the 17th and 19th century slave trade via the Middle Passage. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris has traced back her history, joining us live in the studio. So Janice, tell us what you found. It was an amazing experience, Tarek, and millions of our ancestors came to this country packed on slave ships like this, losing our identity. New DNA technology has made it possible for African Americans to identify the country and tribe that they come from, connecting them back to a lost culture and identity. 1619 is known as the year Africans were shipped as slaves through the Middle Passage to what is now known as the United States of America, forced to leave their heritage, country, tribe, language, and culture behind. Fast forward 400 years later, and African Americans can find out where their maternal ancestors came from before slavery through DNA testing by AfricanAncestry.com. Gina Page is the CEO and co-founder of AfricanAncestry.com. Um, Who was the thought behind African Ancestry to be created? The community created African Ancestry, and it was created out of a need, a desire. I would say a desire, but really is a strong need to want to know where in Africa we come from. Since 2003, the company has reconnected one million people back to their African country of origin. The reconnection happens through DNA. We actually sequenced the DNA to examine the individual's genetic profile. Once that data is generated, it goes to me where I look at that profile in the context of our African lineage database. During the Middle Passage, we were disconnected from absolutely everything that helps to identify who we are. So we lost our names, we lost our languages, our families were sold and torn apart, mothers and fathers, children and parents, brothers and sisters. I've always known about my genetics from Southwest Asia, the Mediterranean, Northern Europe, and South Africa, but that only made up 25% of who I am. What about the other 75%? After swabbing my jaw and waiting for results, I have the answer. I share the maternal genetic ancestry with Fulani people living in Nigeria. What does that mean? I'm, I'm so excited <laughs> about your results, Denise, because I also share maternal genetic ancestry with the Fulani people in Nigeria today. It means that they've inherited from their mother and her mother and her mother and her mother years ago. The match was 100 percent, so my DNA matches identically to someone in Nigeria from the Fulani tribe right now. A connection that would have never been possible without genetic technology and a question that millions of African Americans will continue to ask. Where do I come from? During the slave trade from 1619 until it was ended in 1808, 9.4 to about 12.6 million Africans were kidnapped and brought to the Americas. Many died, others survived, but their descendants remain alive today through all of us. If you would like to learn more about tracing your history, we have a link to ancestry, AfricanAncestry.com in this story. Wow, really eye-opening, Janice. And, and now that you have this information, how has it impacted you? Well, for me, simply put, now I want to go to Nigeria due to COVID. I can't do that right now, but I would like to go to Nigeria and meet a Fulani tribe. Well, Janice, you've traced your mother's side of the family. What about your father's side? Great question, Joy. So I'd like to figure that out. With African ancestry, it traces the X chromosome, the female chromosome. So in order to trace the male side of my family, they would need DNA from a man on my father's side to trace the Y or male chromosome. Mm. Janice, thank you so much for that story.